Hey guys, we are back with another video. And today we are headed to Poznan, Poland. After our very brief time in Berlin, we hopped on another train, thank you Interrail, to head to Poznan. For those of you who are new here, the Interrail Pass or Eurorail Pass is a pass that you can get for the trains in Europe and the Schengen area and go for a certain amount of time, we chose two months, and go for as many train trips as you possibly want. So that's one of the reasons we decided to go to Poland. So here we are getting to our hostel in Poznan. The cool thing about Poznan is that it is perfectly in between Berlin and Warsaw and we knew we wanted to go to Warsaw and when we travel we have sort of made it a habit of going to at least one other smaller city as well as going to some of the more main cities. But interestingly enough, Poznan guys is actually the capital of Poland. Well, it was the capital and now it's just the capital of the region, but still guys, a very important and historic place in Poland's history. So this ended up being our favorite restaurant in all of Poznan. Uh, we went to a few other places, but for some reason this was the place that stuck. Its whole theme is different types of potato dishes and I highly recommend. I'll put a link to it in the description below guys, but uh, yeah, highly recommend this cute little place. It was on one of the main uh, roads too. So it's a mall, but up there is the brewery. What's the brewery called? All right, I guess we'll find out. So Poznan is the fifth largest city in Poland um, and one of the oldest cities in Poland entirely. Uh, it is one of four historical capitals of medieval Poland. And okay, actually, let me comment on this clip. So guys, whenever we go to a different country, different city, we always love going to the supermarket just to see what is the same, what's different and always finding something new to try, something local. Um, and another thing I always like to do is go to a more traditional restaurant, especially when we're going to a new country, but also regionally. There's always different regional um, foods depending on where you go in a country. So don't think that if you're just going to a country, you're gonna try all the same foods depending on where you go. You gotta try them all and you gotta see what's like local. So Postman is also the center of trade, sport, education, technology, and tourism in Poland. So it's also an important academic site, hosting quite a few of the most prominent universities in Poland, which means there's almost always something fun going on in the city. You've heard me talk about this in other videos, guys, but it doesn't really matter what religion or what you believe in. I always think you should check out some of the religious sites when you go to a new country. Some of the best architecture uh, that I've seen and just some of the most beautiful art has been so well preserved and, you know, is, is on display in churches, cathedrals, mosques, synagogues, you name it. Um, so I always recommend walking around and seeing some of these things as well because it's just amazing if you're into history, um, art, and culture, just to experience these different things in different countries. So Poznan being one of the oldest cities in Poland means that it survived a lot of conflicts and wars. Um, during World War II, it was a part of German occupation and was incorporated by the Nazis um, in that time. So due to that, a lot of Polish inhabitants, even children as young as 10, were executed, arrested, expelled, or used in forced labor. Throughout that time, a lot of Poland was destroyed. And as you'll see in clips ahead, 
a lot of the old town was destroyed, but has since been beautifully rebuilt for people to see what the original architecture sort of looked like. On these interrail trips, in some of these places we only stayed for a couple or a few days. And so the first few days we generally just walk around, see the sites, don't make any specific plans as to where we want to go, maybe a couple food places if it's on the way. Um, so because of that, some of these places I can't rename because we just sort of stumbled upon them. Um, but that's the thing about a lot of these places, and especially Poznan, it was so walkable and it was just beautiful. Every single where we went, we found really interesting things like this dance academy. We could just walk inside and, and check it out. Um, apparently due to Poznan being a cultural hub and having a lot of these main theaters that have been there for ages, there's a lot of dance and classical music and things that have been preserved for many many years that you can go and see if you have the time or can get the tickets um, or are there long enough to enjoy some of the uh, cultural arts festivities. So here is Old Town guys, when we were there it was under construction, unfortunately, but we could still see most of it through what was going on. Uh, it was absolutely stunning. I just love the colors, the architecture. It was like nothing I'd quite seen before. And Poznan, being such a historic city, obviously has many historic buildings and heritage sites which are almost all concentrated around the old town um, and parts of the city center. So many of these historic sites lie on the tourist route, the Royal Imperial route. It's a walking tour that is led through uh, the most important parts of the city, showing its history, culture, and identity. All around Old Town and the city center, there's beautiful shopping streets and walking streets, and there's vendors and little businesses everywhere. Even in the evenings, it was absolutely amazing to walk around. And like I said, guys, I think Poland is such an underrated vacation place. I highly recommend Poznan. And um, as you see here, you see us heading on the train to head off to Warsaw, which will be the next video and I will see you guys soon.